Hello again. So one thing uh, I should have shown is that you, when you click on that layer mask, you can hit Command I to invert it at any point. So if you decide you want that inner part to show the effect, just invert it. Command I is the invert, or of course under Image Adjustments, invert. So let's trash that. And the next one of those I want to show you quick is. Oops, wrong one, one. The next one I want to show you quick is called Gradient Map. And so let's just do the destructive version of Gradient Map first, and then we'll do a quick non-destructive version of the same thing, Gradient Map. So Gradient Map is essentially a duotone effect. Um, I have to fix my default here momentarily. So the dark color should be on the left. The light color should be on the right. So let me let me click on the gradient, boom change this to a dark color, such as, I don't know, black, change this to a lighter color, I don't know, such as white for now. Okay, so you're going to see the normal grayscale image. But within the gradient editor, with this uh, gradient map, you're able to replace black and white with other colors. So here's, a, here's an effect you see very often. Click on the light color, choose a bright color, a light value color, such as yellow, for instance. Okay, there we go. We have a duotone. It's as if it's been printed with uh, yellow and black. It's an effect you see all the time, even on the web. So it's just an expressive way to do a quasi grayscale, but really it's two colors, not one. And where you start even have more expressive fun is you change your dark color to something else and uh, potentially something that when mixed with the light color creates a third. So it's just magenta-ish. Let's try a magenta. Boom. We've got a pure magenta now. Click OK. And there you see the image as if printed or just literally shown with black replaced by magenta and white milk replaced with yellow. You can add as many other colors as you like along the way, which could end up being really psychedelic. The secret to making it appear still faithful to the original value structure is making sure that your colors go from dark to light, darker to lighter. So, for instance, if I added another darker one here, it's going to get the shadows in. You can always move these around, and these things allow you to push and pull them toward one or the other. Oops. Trash these little guys here so you end up with just a standard two color duotone, or you can play further with it. But I would like you to play with the two color duotone, especially where you end up with a third color as they combine. Something you get when you use uh, red and yellow, especially uh, blue and yellow. Let's try that. Blue and yellow we should create a green effect. And then, of course, that's a destructive version. So now that layer is forever changed. So instead, what I'll do is use it a new adjustment layer under gradient map. So the same thing, just shown in the properties palette instead of the um, uh, its own dialog box here. So here we go. Try that out. Click OK. There, and look what I've got. I've got a adjustment layer temporarily affecting that. And now I can tell it to limit that effect to just the yak. Now in the next video, I want to show you a technique for selecting much more, much more carefully and much less painstakingly. Uh, but for now, I'm just painting black, oops, painting black and white in the layer mask. Sorry, the adjustment layer mask. And of course, I can invert that if I were to want to, Command 